good morning children how are you i hope you are doing good actually we all are eagerly waiting to see you in our schools i hope soon uh, before going to our actual topic i would like to say one thing our mathematics may not teach us how to add happy how to uh, delete how to uh, subtract arrows from our life but one thing i am sure mathematics teaches us how to solve a problem every problem has a solution so do hard work be positive and be happy coming to our topic uh, can you imagine the world without numbers we cannot imagine the world without numbers this world is full of numbers isn't it in the previous classes we learned about numbers there are natural numbers are represented by n and r 1 2 3 and so on and next whole numbers whole numbers are represented by w and starts from 0 1 2 and so on next integers also learn about integers integers are negative numbers positive numbers including zero isn't it now tell me if you see the slide if you see the slide uh, integers integers holds whole numbers whole numbers holds natural numbers isn't it that means natural numbers are subset of whole numbers whole numbers are subset of integers isn't it so can you tell me uh, are there any numbers other than these numbers yes if you see the slide there is an apple and some pieces of apple if an apple is uh, uh, there we say that this is one apple if we cut into two equal parts we say that half of that is 1 by 2 1 by 2 if we cut again we say that some parts 1 by 4 2 by 3 like this you can see the glasses also there are some glasses with colored water in some portion one is full of water and some other are some portions so what these are numbers are these are 1 by 2 1 2 2 3 what are these numbers 1 by 2 2 by 3 1 by 8 what are these these are fractions as you know these are fractions 1 by 2 can be written as 0.5 this is named as decimals so the entire set of integers fractions decimals are known as rational numbers now today we are going to learn about rational numbers what are the topic today rational numbers see if you see the slide rational numbers includes integers integers include whole numbers whole numbers include natural numbers that means again natural numbers are subset of whole numbers whole numbers are subset of integers integers are subset of rational numbers the letter is q if you see the slide we can get this tell me what are these rational numbers just now we you said that 1 by 2 2 by 3 these are all fractions but no but now we are saying these are rational numbers what is the difference between these rational numbers and fractions a fraction cannot be negative why because this is fraction means is a part a part cannot be negative so rational numbers are both positive and negative whereas fractions are only positive now we we came to know what are rational numbers tell me where we use these rational numbers can you guess wherever not we use these rational numbers everywhere we use uh, if you see the slide if you see the slide uh, if you go, go to kitchen to prepare something or to cook something we say that uh, we need a half a half spoon of sugar half cup of milk like this isn't it when our, in our daily life we use these fractions half 1 by 2 1 by 3 what are these these are rational numbers if you want to share something with your friends the if, for example if it is pizza 
the part you, you got is a rational number. Even if you go to bank, the interest is calculated using rational numbers. Even engineering in life sciences, wherever you go, we use these rational numbers. Engineering, how to use these rational numbers in, in engineering? To build or to make an aeroplane or to a building, we use this, uh, we use an accurate ratios of some solids, is not it? In life sciences, if you want to uh, prepare a medicine, there must be an accurate uh, ratio of chemicals, is not it? These are all rational numbers. We use these rational numbers in statistics also. How to use in statistics? If you want to give a report on something, the end of the report is made using these rational numbers only. For example, nowadays we are using OXAP, is not it? How many of you following OXAP? So, to make a report on this OXAP, we say that 3 by 4th of students are following OXAP, 1 by 4th of students are not following OXAP. Like this, we say that means we are using rational numbers. Not only this, we use uh, in our daily life school also. How to use in school? We, you say that sometimes you say, ma'am, I completed my 3 by 4th of homework, ma'am, I completed my, uh, my 3 by 4th of book, 1 by 4th left, like this, you use. That means you are knowingly, unknowingly using these rational numbers. Some, um, that means we are all using these rational numbers. This is about rational numbers. Now we go with a definition. Rational number is a number of the form p by q, where p and q are integers and q should not be equal to 0. Why q should not be equal to 0? Divisible by 0 is not exist. So, now we learn something about rational numbers. Okay? Up to now, you learn what is rational number. That is it. Now, you we go with examples. 2 by 3 is an example of rational numbers. What about 3? 3 is also a rational number. Why? Because here, denominator is 1. 0 also a rational number. 0 by 1 is equals to 0. Not only positive, you can take negatives also, minus 2 by 3 like this. These are all rational numbers. Can you simplify 2 by 3? No, we cannot simplify because there are no common factors to 2 and 3. We go with another example. I am taking 12 by 16. This is a rational number. Can we simplify this? Yes using the common factor. What is the common factor? 4. 4 threes are 4. 4 are 3 by 4. We got 3 by 4. Again, can we simplify? No. So, 3 by 4 is the standard form of 12 by 16. Then, what is the standard form? Standard form of the rational number is a rational number of the form p by q, where p and q both have no, both have no common factors. That is, standard form of a rational number. Can you do um, by your own, you can take your own examples. This is about standard form of rational number. Now, we learn representation of rational numbers on the number line. How to represent a rational number on the number line? What is number line actually? Already you learned. A number line is a line which extended both sides. A number line is a straight line which extended both sides having numbers with equi distance on the line. A number line is a straight line which can be extended both directions having numbers on the straight line with equi distance. This is number line. Now, we, going to, we are going to learn representing the rational numbers on the number line. There are two cases. One is proper fraction and the second one is improper fraction. What is proper fraction? proper fraction is, if numerator is less than the de denominator, we say that this is proper fraction. Case 1, what is that? Numerator is less than denominator. We say that this is a proper fraction. Every proper fraction lies between 0 and 1. We know that every proper fraction lies between where? 0 and 1. So, we go with an example. Example, I am taking 4 by 5. 4 is less than 5. That means, 4 by 5 is a proper fraction. Where it lies? We are saying that it lies between 0 and 1. Now, we draw a straight line. 
this is 0, 1, 2, minus 1, minus 2. Where it lies? 0, 4 by 5 lies between 0 and 1. That means, this is 0 and 1. Where it lies? 4 by 5 lies between 0 and 1. We, now, we know that. But where it lies? Here, each part of the proper fraction tells us something. Phi tells us, that means denominator tells us how many parts we should divide the line segment between 0 and 1. Here it is 5. That means we have to divide the line segment between 0 and 1, 5 equal parts 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. This is 1. We divided the line segment between 0 and 1, 5 parts. And numerator tells us what we numerator tells? Numerator tells us how many parts we should move forward. That means here 4. That means how many parts we should move forward? 4 steps. 1, 2, 3, 4. So, this is the 4 by 5. This is the actual location of 4 by 5. If it is negative, we have to move backward direction. This is about case 1, that is numerator is less than denominator. Now, we go to case 2. What is case 2? If numerator is greater than denominator. What we call? If numerator is greater than denominator, we call this is an improper fraction. To represent these numbers on number line, first, the st first step we have to do is, we have to convert the improper fraction to mixed fraction. We go with one example. I am taking 11 by 5. Here, numerator is greater than denominator. That means, this is a improper fraction. How to convert this into a mixed fraction? By doing division. How to do? 5, 11, 5, 2 is a 10, 1. 1 is remainder and this is quotient and this is divider. So, how to convert this into mixed fraction? Mixed fraction is quotient remainder by divider. So, quotient is what? 2. Remainder is what? 1. Divisor is 5. That means, 11 by 5 is equals to 2. 1 by 5. This is a mixed fraction. Here, 2 is whole part. 1, 1 by 5 is a fraction. 1 is numerator and 5 is denominator. Is not it? Here, to represent a improper fraction or mixed fraction on number line, every part of this mixed fraction tells us something. Here, whole part tells us where the number lies between between the whole number to next whole number and the, I say in the same as case 1, phi tells us how many parts we should divide and numerator tells us how many parts we should move forward. Now, we go with example. This is number line 0, minus 1, minus 2, 1, 2. Here, what is the whole part 2? That means, this 11 by 5 lies between 2 and the next whole number. What is the next whole number? 3. That means 2 and 3. I am writing here 3. So, this number lies between 2 and 3. This is 2 and 3. Now, where it lies between 2 and 3? 5 tells us what else? We have to divide the line segment between 2 and 3 into 5 equal parts. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, these are the divisions. So, now what is what numerator tells? Numerator tells us how many steps we have to move forward. Here it is 1. That means, we have to move 1 step forward. This is 2 1 by 5. This is the actual location of 2 1 by 5. That means, 11 by 5. This is the representation of rational numbers on the number line. Understood? Okay. Now, we go move for some forward to inserting rational numbers between two given rational numbers. How to insert rational numbers between uh, two given rational numbers? For example, I have, I am uh, asking to insert, insert the rational numbers between 3 and 5. You can simply say that there is 4, is not it? How are you saying that is 4? Is there a, only 4 is there? No, there are more than, more, more than one number. Other than 4, there are more numbers between 3 and 5. How to find this 4 and other than numbers? So, by using average method. Which method? We use average method. What is average? Average is sum of numbers by 
number of members. Now, we find using average example 3 and 5 insert the rational numbers between 3 and by 5. So, average what is the sum of numbers 3 plus 5 by 2 what you get 8 by 10 2 is equals to 4 is not it that means 3 4 5 here it is the between rational numbers 3 and 5 how to find more again same the process 3 plus 4 by 2 4 plus 5 by 2 and same 5 and same 3 3 3 plus 4 7 by 2 4 plus 5 9 by 2 5 so 7 by 2 and 9 by 2 are the rational numbers between 3 and 5 if you want to find more numbers again repeat the same process finding the average of 3 plus 7 by 2 by 2 7 by 2 plus 9 by 2 by 2 and 9 by 2 plus 5 by 2 5 3 as it is. So, repeating this process we can find more number of rational numbers between the given two rational numbers, but it is somewhat difficult for me I have a trick how to do how to find rational numbers between two given rational numbers. I will explain here also two cases first one is like fractions what are like fractions like fractions are the fractions with same denominator for example i am taking 1 by 7 and 6 by 7 1 by 7 and 6 by 7 these are denominators are same that means these two are like fractions isn't it how to insert rational numbers between 1 by 7 and 6 by 7 see 7 7 are same if you observe the numerator here it is 1 and next one is 6 what are the natural numbers uh, missing in this 1 and 6? Simply you can say that 2, 3, 4, 5 is not it? Simple 2 by 7 just add denominator to each number. So, 1 by 7 and 6 by 7 these are the rational numbers between 1 by 7 and 6 by 7 this is for Likert fractions. Now, tell me if there is no gap between two numbers, how to do? We will do that. I am taking 1 by 7 and 2 by 7, even though these two are like fractions, is not it? 7, 7, denominators are same, but there is no gap between 1 and 2. How to do? No problem. Now, we create the gap between these two numbers. How to create the gap? First of all, for that we have to decide how many numbers we have to insert. For example, I am taking 3. I want to insert 3 numbers between 1 by 7 and 2 by 7. Just add 1 to that number. What is that? 4. What we got? 4. You just multiply this 4 by 4 to both fractions. What we have to do is multiply 4 by 4 to both fractions. 2 by 7 by 4 by 4 do that 4 1s are 4 7 4s are 28 2 4s are 8 7 4s are 28 now what happened again these two are like fractions with denominator same 28 28 but there is a gap between the numerators what are the gap 5 6 7 so just insert 4 by 28 5 by 28 6 by 28, 7 by 28 and 8 by 28, 4 1s are, 4 7s are, 8 1s are, sorry, 4 2s are, 4 7s are, 4 are, so 1 by 7, 2 by 7 same, so these are the rational numbers between 1 by 7 and 2 by 7, okay, this is about inserting rational numbers between two rational numbers. This is uh, up to like refraction. Now, we go with unlike fractions. What are unlike fractions? Unlike fractions are the fractions having different denominators. We go with an example. I am taking here 2 by 3 and 3 by 2. Here, numerators are 2 and 3 and denominators are 3 and 2. These two are not equal. That means, these two are unlike fractions. So, how to do? 
how to do how to insert the rational numbers between 2 by 3 and 3 by 2 no problem now we convert these unlike fractions to like fractions how to convert by doing some mathematical operations listen carefully for that we have to do is multiply the first fraction to the denominator of second fraction and multiply the second fraction to the denominator of the first fraction what we have to do multiply the first fraction to the denominator of the second fraction multiply the second fraction to the denominator of the first fraction we do that what is the first fraction 2 by 3 multiply and divide the denominator of the second fraction what is denominator of the second fraction 2 so multiply and divide multiply the second fraction what is second fraction 3 by 2 what is the denominator of the first fraction so 3 multiply and divide what happens 2 to the 4 3 to the 6 3 3 the 9 2 3 the 6 what happens this is like this became like fraction and having the gap between the numerators so what are the gap just fill the gaps 5 by 6 6 by 6 and 7 by 6 8 by 6 9 by 6 these are the rational numbers between 4 by 6 and 9 by 6 that is nothing but 2 by 3 and 3 by 2 again if there is no gap we use the case 1 method so this is up to inserting rational numbers between two given rational numbers up to now we learn about rational number standard form representing number line or uh, rational numbers on the number line and also inserting rational numbers between two given rational numbers now we are going to learn properties properties of rational numbers what are properties of rational numbers we have four properties here some properties are the major properties are four that is closer property closer property associative property commutative property and distributive property so these four are now we check the rational numbers holes are not first one is closer property what is closer property a closer property is if you do any operation between two rational numbers the result number must be belongs to the same group that is rational number we will check on four operation mathematical operations addition subtraction and multiplication and division so i am taking if you do any operation a star b that means star is any operation a star b that must belongs to rational number only i am taking here a is equals to 1 by 3 and b is equals to 2 by 3 i am doing addition first of all we check under addition 1 by 3 plus 2 by 3 is equals to 3 by 3 equal to 1 that means that belongs to q only that means rational numbers are closed under addition okay now we check with subtraction i am taking 1 by 3 minus 2 by 3 that means minus 1 by 3 this also belongs to rational number that means rational numbers are closed under subtraction if we go with multiplication 1 by 3 into 2 by 3 now what happens 2 by 9 it is also belongs to rational number that means rational numbers are closed under multiplication if we go with division 1 by 3 by 2 by 3 3 3 get cancelled 1 by 2 belongs to q that means this is also a rational number that means rational numbers are closed under division this is up to closer now we go to commutative property what is commutative property if we do any operation between any mathematical operation between two numbers if we change uh, change the order the result must be same now we will check with on four mathematical operations what are those first one is plus i am doing that means a star b is equals to if we change the order the result must be equal again i am taking 1 by 3 plus first of all i am checking under addition 1 by 3 plus 2 by 3 is equals to 3 by 3 we got here 1 i am changing the order 2 by 3 plus 1 by 3 is equals to 3 by 3 
So, both are equal that means rational numbers are commuted to under addition. Now, we go check with subtraction 1 by 3 minus 2 by 3 we got here minus 1 by 3 1 by 2 by I am changing the order first I am writing 2 by 3 then 1 by 3 it is 1 by 3 both are not equal that means commutative rational numbers are not commutative under subtraction. Now, we check with multiplication 1 by 3 into 2 by 3 what we get 2 by 9 I am changing the order 2 by 3 into 1 by 3 2 ones are 2 3 3 is a 9 both are equal that means it is commutative to under multiplication next what is that division 1 by 3 by 2 by 3 what we got 1 by 2 and I am changing the order 2 by 3 by 1 by 3 what we got 2 these two are not equal that means rational numbers are not commutative to under division next what is the next property associative what is associative property associative property is if we do any operation between three rational numbers by grouping if we change the group also there should be no variation in the result that is by grouping a star b star c is equals to a star b star c star means here any mathematical operations ok. So, if we check on addition 1 by 3 plus 2 by 3 plus 1 by 3 is equals to plus 1 3 by 3 plus 1 by 3 is equals to 4 by 3 I am changing the group 1 by 3 plus 2 by 3 plus 1 by 3 is equals to 1 by 3 plus 3 by 3 this is 4 by 3 both are equal that means rational numbers are associative under addition same these are all if we do the uh, on 4 operations subtraction uh, multiplication and division we get the result you try these results up to now we learned what are rational numbers what are uh, uh, how to represent on number line how to insert num rational numbers between the, uh, two rational numbers and also properties where we use these properties we, we use these properties in our calculation these properties makes the calculations easy so you learn this and do all the properties ok take this table closer commutative associative distributive ok associative property does not hold subtraction rational numbers are not associative under division also so these are the properties ok no do some exercise note down this what are the questions represent the following rational numbers on the number line 5 by 9 minus 2 by 3 14 by 7 and the second question is write the standard form of the following rational numbers 148 by 256 and the next one 1000 by 20,000 and third one is 256 by 157 did you note it ok do practice I hope we will meet again thank you.